Hello viewers, well you've all heard of the commodity uranium, you all know what it does, but did you know that it was one of the hottest commodities last year, up nearly 90% and potentially could still be looking to go much higher in 2024. Why, what's the fundamental case behind it? Well there's a big supply demand imbalance, too many people want uranium, not enough production. Production levels are down. Kazakhstan can't meet um, its targets. There could be a potential squeeze opportunity from the Russian side. And China have been buying very heavily. So fundamentals are there for um, you know uranium to go up. But how can you actually get your hands on that exposure? Well, getting uranium itself as a futures product it's actually very difficult but there are ETFs out there there are some very good stocks out there dotted around the world in this video I'm going to look at three of them I'm then going to also have a look at an ETF that you could potentially be interested in and I'll throw in a few other stock ideas as well but before we do that let's have a look at that uranium spot price chart So I'm in a website called tradingeconomics.com. It's actually a great website for all sorts of you know, data. Um, here you can see in front of you the uranium spot price over the last year. Just look how that has gone from those lows of 48 you know, sort of area up to 92 and a half pushing on 100. Let's go back a bit longer term, see what that's like in the bigger picture of things. You can see there. You know, actually, if you go back to 2007, 2008, there's still a lot of way to go up to those highs around 140. So you can see, I said, really, the price has been climbing steadily from you know end of 2016 and really pushed on up in you know 2023 and you know, starting bullishly uh, for 2024. Um, so before we get into those three stocks that you know you might want to take a look at let's have a look at an ETF so here's that ETF I was talking about global X's uranium ETF ticker URA now why bother with an ETF for those who aren't you know so familiar with them they're going to give you an exposure you know pretty closely to the actual price of uranium someone's put this portfolio together of underlying stocks you know parts moving parts that like I say, reflect the price of uranium. And if we you know, roll back to that uranium spot price, you can see a very similar chart you know, in front of you. I've got Heiken Ashi weekly chart here for um, that ETF. And you can see um, it has been performing very well. So up 364% from those lows uh, back in March of 20. 20 and then it's been up all the way it did plateau we've got a lot of noise through here at 19 but just have a look at that double top producing there at the moment around 3180 it's got a breakthrough there the next upside 3858 and let's just drag that down a little more to get some other targets then we could be looking etf wise for 42 and then 47 but like i said you know, if you don't want to get into the individual stocks, can't get spot exposure, then ETF is a good way into you know achieving that. So now let's have a look at those three stocks. First up are a company called Cameco, uh, ticker CCJ. Now they're Canadian, but you can trade them um, in the US. About 22 billion market cap. Um, they are, you know, they, they provide uranium for the generation of electricity, operating through two segments: the uranium and fuel services. They get involved with the mining, uh, milling, purchase, sale of uranium concentrate. So a great exposure to uranium. And as you can see from the longer-term weekly high Kinashi price chart, you know it's been a very good story since 2020. Um, let's go from those lows to the highs up 850% and longer term we're pushing on to you know 64 
70 area downsides. Well, we could look at this Fibonacci around 33.70 for potential support, but still looking very strong. So let's have a look at the Renko chart for some more sort of shorter term price action. So everything looking bullish at the moment on the Renko charts here. We've got this lovely uptrend still in place. Down the bottom there, two indicators, modified DMI and modified stochastic, both bullish. You can see the volume by price here on the right hand side. You can see it's actually, you know, a lot of the price um, action happening around this 30 to 20 zone. So like I was saying earlier, if there is a pullback, this Fibonacci line around about $32 could be a potential longer term pullback or this 39 then maybe there's a buy the dip opportunity there for you to jump in on but up sideways if you can get through the recent highs around $50 we're talking 58 62 and then nearly 70. Next up we have a company called Uranium Energy Core they're a US company headquartered Corpus Christi um, engaged in exploration pre-extraction extraction processing uranium and titanium in the US Canada and Paraguay owns its own mine interests and as you can see from the chart um, it's been a similar story to our last stock you know up very strongly let's take a look at the actual move from those lows again 2020 up 2000 percent a smaller company this one and Cameco about three billion market cap. What could we be looking for further upside if we can push on through those highs? We got nearly 10 and nearly 11. Now, heading into the um, Renko charts, what can we see in the shorter term? Well, we've got bullishness in our indicators, um, volume again at price a lot lower, so we're talking maybe. Worst case pullback ish around the four and a half dollar mark, maybe a more medium term pullback five and a half sort of dollar area. But again, that trend is strong upsides, short term nine, ten, and eleven. Then finally, we have our last stock uh, pick it's a company called NextGen, another Canadian company, again, um, smaller than our first, about four billion market cap. Um, engaged in acquisition, exploration, evaluation and development of uranium properties in Canada. So a slightly different take on the um, uranium plays we've just seen with the other two. But what's been going on on the longer term stock price again is that 2020 turning point up nearly 2000%. You know, really good return, still strong. We can see a lot of this noise around here the support area key fibonacci level three and a third dollars so look at that those amount of touches you know, fibonacci works there it is and then we've had that really strong on push up to the highs just under eight dollars then we're talking 10 11 and 12 and a half and then heading into the renko chart um similar shorter term bullish picture we got the indicators at the bottom both pointing bullish at the moment in terms of that retrain well we've got actually let's have a look at the price action there at the moment a lot more um let's say sort of price levelly uh, than the other two we've got these scoops in the price action where we could see price movement falls from so we're looking sort of around that key fibonacci line six dollars and then maybe down to about four and a half and if it can keep on pushing up through these recent highs at seven and three quarters, we've got nearly nine, nine and a half and just over ten dollar mark as potential upside. So there you go. You've got an ETF and three good looking stocks that you can trade from the US, Canada, around the world. But if you're after some other ideas from other countries, then Australia, um, you've got Paladin and Boss. Um, and from the UK, maybe Yellow Cake as potential other stocks to take a look at. So always, like I said, um, do your own due diligence on these stocks. These are just ideas for you to have a think about as we see that commodity price of uranium hotting up potentially into uh, the early part of 
2024. Now, if you've liked today's video, please give us the thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, bell button. You know, we get loads of um, new content coming your way, so you don't want to miss anything there. And if you liked the Renko charts and new to them, want to learn more about them, I've got a great free course on um, my YouTube channel. Work your way from top to bottom and you'll master the charts um, of Renko World very easily. And you can create some new trading edges, you know, points of view for your portfolio in 2024. And a link to that uh, playlist on the channel, the course, is coming up right now.